This vote's designed to focus minds of ministers planning to privatise ferry routes that cover some of the busiest stretches of the west coast of Scotland. Supporters say opening these routes to competition will cut the £100 million a year subsidy that goes to Calmac. The RMT fears it's just cost-cutting, which the ferry workers will end up paying for. We're obviously needing uh, the mandate from uh, the RMT membership in order to keep the momentum made up and to put as much pressure on uh, the Scottish Government as uh, possible in order to have in place the assurances and the guarantees that we seek. The union's been trying for two months to get promises from ministers on jobs and pensions. It believes the five-year ritual of tendering and re-tendering for these lifeline routes is disruptive and an expensive waste of time. It was announced last week that First Group was the preferred bidder for the West Coast main line. That has a 13-year franchise, so that's the type of thing that we would certainly be looking at as more favourable, opposed to every five, six years where people's jobs and the livelihoods uh, are on the line, which we see as very unhelpful. RMT and Scottish Government ministers meet in early September, just before the ballot closes. The union hopes to make enough progress there to stop a strike going ahead. Pete Murray, Union News at Weems Bay on the Firth of Clyde.